Hey there, this is Simon from Widescreen Education. First of all, thank you so much for appreciating my work and supporting me. I hope you like my invention of color editable elements for good notes. Feel free to ask me anything if you have any questions and yeah, let's dive right in and I'm going to show you how to use it. So basically there are two options how to use magic paper templates. The first one is um, to export a magic paper template as a PDF. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, the package comes with six different styles. Let's say you like the dotted narrow M. This um, matches exactly the good notes dimensions. So if you want to um, place your old notes to this new template, it's, um, yeah, fits exactly in. So first of all, you select the text tool, you click anywhere, you click on this text box style, choose any background color you like. You can either choose the color wheel or you can select the color of the color grid. And once you're done, you can also select the dot color with this text color button. And let's say you like white dots, you are done. And now you click on the share and export button, click export this page, click PDF, select any name, for example, A4 white dots or white dotted gray background. Okay, and when you're done, you click export and save it to files. Go to any random folder you like, save it there. Now you go to your main menu and click on the settings button on the top right corner. You click on notebook templates and now you can add with this plus button a folder group. Let's say magic templates. Now you have this folder over here. You click on import from files and now you select the PDF template you created before. Now you click on done and go to any note. Let's say you have a, um, you have any white template over here. You click on change template. First click on these three dots over here, change template. And now you have your magic templates over here. This is one we created before. And now you can just write on it um, and erase on it because it's a PDF. It's laser sharp at any size, like all my products. And this is the first way how to use magic paper templates. The second one um, is um, another way how to use them. Um, it's why I uh, put this page, full page elements um, over here. So let's say you want um, to use those. Um, I recommend um, that you add all those elements to your elements tool. This you select with the lesser tool and then you click on add element and you create a new collection. Uh, for example, magic templates dotted. And then you click on create. Then you have this um, different tabs over here I created um, and I added them in this order first second third and so on so you have 12 elements you have to add at the moment it's not possible for me to um, export this um, as a complete tab so um, you cannot import a tab um, directly to GoodNotes. So you have to do it yourself, like I said. You add all those elements and then what you see is um, I have created those tabs. So you have a cheat sheet, yeah? You see, um, okay, I have lined paper and from the picture you cannot see uh, are they narrow or wide. So I added these 
text boxes. So you know this is ruled wide, this is ruled narrow, this is legal, this is legal 2, Cornell, Cornell 2. Or for example, with square paper, you see standard, like the good notes one, then the uh, same, but with a frame, so with an outline, dotted narrow, dotted wide, Cornell, Cornell 2. And the same goes for dots. As you can see, these two are with small dots, medium dots, and large dots. And the first row is narrow and the second is wide. So if you added those elements to your elements tab or your elements tool, you can go to any quick note and um, let's delete that. Um, we don't need that at the moment. Um, and now you can um, insert this uh, big sticker. So let's say you like um, this one with an outline. You have a full page sticker. So what's the advantage of this? You select, um, I show that again, um, you don't want to move this big sticker. So after you insert it, you just click on the lesser tool and now it's fixed. So the big advantage of this is if you write on it any note, let's say this, you can even change the color of the background afterwards. So let's say you don't like this blue, you can select another background color, another grid color, and then you select the lesser tool. And now you have the same note with a different background and a different grid color. And I like that very much. The only thing you have to um, remember is if you want to move something, for example, um, this sticky note, you have to deselect text boxes because now you can move just the sticky note. But if you have activated the text boxes, you would also move the background because the background is a big text box and you don't want that. So just keep in mind, you have to deselect text boxes when you use this option to use magic paper templates. Um, another thing is if you want to um, add a text, for example, another header, you cannot do that because you just select the background. So how to do that? You just um, add any random text to your elements tab. So um, let's say you have a blank page. You type in random text. And now you add this element to your to any uh, tab. And now, as I said before, you can um, insert the text box from your um, elements tool. And now you can, of course, change the font or the font size, um, but you cannot um, insert the text from the te text tool as you would do it um, because um, you would only select the background. So these are the two options how to use Magic Paper Templates. The first one is um, creating PDF files and importing them again. And the second one is use them as big, large, full page stickers. And um, yeah, I hope you like that. I um, also um, wanted to show you how you import this Cornell style because this is not centered. So you have to move it um, to the right position. So this way. And now again, click any other tool to fix it to the background. And why it isn't centered is because I wanted to give you the opportunity to um, move this vertical line wherever you want. So for example, if you need more space to the left, you just can move it to the right and then change the tool again. Now it's fixed. And um, of course, you can um, also, if you uh, choose the text tool, you can also uh, change the color of this or of the background. 
and also um, of course of the lines so let's say you like this style um, with a yeah yellow background and blue lines and red lines you can just create whatever you like yeah i hope you like it um, feel free to ask me anything if you have any questions and um, yeah i hope you like this product <laughs>